Hi, today we're going to talk about setting up maintenance reminders on a, on a unit uh, using the hour meters. This is one of my classroom units and this unit only has 12 hours on it. And before we set this up, we want to make sure that we know how many hours we have on the unit so that we can set this up intelligently. So I have 12 hours on this unit and I'm going to set this up to remind me to change the oil. All right. So once the system boots up, we're going to get into it. We're going to go into guarded access and set this up. When these hour meters that we're about to set up are tripped, we're going to uh, go ahead and get a code 132 or a code 133. Here we're going to push the menu button to get into the maintenance menu or the main menu, excuse me. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to push the blank key and the exit key at the same time to get us into maintenance. And then we're going to go all the way to the bottom of this list in the maintenance menu until we get the soft key here go blank. And then we're going to push the blank key and the exit key at the same time. And this is going to put us in guarded access. All right, now we're in pro, uh, guarded access. We're going to go down to our meter setup. And then we're going to program our meter. All right, here's our first total runtime reminder, number one, and we're going to select this. And then we're going to use the plus and the minus arrows or uh, buttons to uh, put the number of hours that we want our, our unit to run before it throws this alarm. And you can see I'm just pressing and holding this button and I'm going to try to get it up to there. Whoop, well, almost 3,000. Let's back that up a little bit. All right, there we have 3,000 hours. All right, we're gonna click yes. And then the elapsed time. The elapsed time is how long has this timer been running? All right, and we want that to be zero. If it's not zero, then we wanna set it to zero. Yes, this is okay. And there's my total runtime reminder number one. And I believe the number one uh, would throw a code 132 and reminder number two would throw a code 133. These are both log alarms and would not shut the unit down. Here's number two. You can set this up in the same way. Thank you. Have a nice day.